The first time Seattle U and Grand Canyon met, the Red Hawks handed the Lopes their first conference loss of the season and snapped GCU's 14-game win streak. The timing of the win for us was very important to end the losing streak. And then you add um, the opponent. So it was a big win for us to get back on track. SU coach Chris Victor knows the Lopes will be looking for revenge. This is the 25th time GCU and Seattle U have met, but it's the Red Hawks who have won three of their last four meetings and swept the Lopes in the regular season last year. We've been struggling on the road this year. We're one in six is our road record, and um, we've been in every one of those games. And uh, we talked about how many close games we played this year, but the road has been been troublesome for us. Leading the way for the Red Hawks is Cam Tyson. He's averaging just under 18 points a game. He's been such an important leader for our program. Uh, he's really grown in that area since he's gotten to Seattle three years ago. For Grand Canyon, the Lopes have recently been the cardiac kids. Since losing to Seattle, they rebounded with a very tough win at the Sawmill against Stephen F. Austin. They also picked up a win at UT Arlington after trailing by as much as 14 points in the second half. The Lopes and Red Hawks tip off at 7 p.m. Mountain Time from the Global Credit Union Arena at GCU. Also on Thursday night, Abilene Christian hosting Tarleton State in a game that will be on ESPN Plus and Space City Home Network in Texas. The first time these teams met, the Texans came out on top, 79-71, behind 25 points from Ja'Cory Smith. Abilene Christian and Tarleton State play at 7 p.m. Central Time. Other games on Thursday include the Utah Valley at Stephen F. Austin. That's a 6.30 tip. UT Arlington visits Southern Utah. The Thunderbirds have won two in a row. And Utah Tech entertains UTRGV in St. George. For the Road to Wag Vegas, I'm Eric Danner.